Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, you were one of the first people to work with him. Uh, how old was he in this American Boy? God, this Boy's Life, rather? <clears throat> Maybe, uh, was he about 14 or 13 or 14? <laughs> young. Like, he was young. young. Yes. Uh, so it must be amazing to see, you know, to watch his career. Yes, yeah. yeah. The, the, Leo was also, we had a reading of, of the movie, uh, and Leo wasn't reading the lead. It was another kid, and, and at the end of it, I said, uh, this kid is interesting, you know, you should, ch you know, pay more attention to him. And I don't know whether that, my saying that had anything to do with it, but... You know it did. <laughs> 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 Anointed by Robert De Niro. Other kids, who knows where they are now. <laughs> um, <laughs> someone else, though, someone else had a huge influence on Leonardo DiCaprio's career. I turned to Paul Rudd. <laughs> no, you did, though. You properly did. I don't know. I don't think I had an influence, but I... Sometimes, I, you know, looking back, you find yourself in some interesting conversations and moments in time, and I worked with Leonardo on uh, Romeo and Juliet, and at the time, my father made his living. He was a Titanic expert, and he used wow. to take people all over the world uh, talking about the Titanic. He could mm. go to universities. And, yeah. Uh, and it was my last day of filming on Romeo and Juliet, and we all went out to a bar afterward, all the guys, we were all uh, a bunch of guys working on the, on the movie, and so we were in different cars, and I was riding to the place with Leo, and he said, I just got offered this movie, <laughs> but it's a big movie, and he had done indie films to that point, he said, it's a big, it's a studio movie, it's uh, Titanic, and I said, that's incredible, and I knew a lot about Titanic, because my dad just talked about <laughs> Titanic, <laughs> and we just had a conversation about it. And he, he was saying, you know, like, I don't know what I'll do. I remember him saying, you should do it. <laughs> <laughs> John Lithgow, I did not know this until mm -hmm. I was reading about you. Uh, Star Wars, Yoda. Yeah. Uh, you played Yoda, but on the radio. That's right. I... Uh, <laughs> wait, do it, do it. You didn't know this. What is going through. on? Close what did you talk right? about on set? Yeah, yeah. Like, a, like a, a year after... How did after we not the, get into this? It's, it's, a, it's a little piece of Lithgow oh, okay. trivia. Okay. I, 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 yeah, about a year after Empire Strikes Back came out as a movie, George Lucas produced it as a radio series, and he got Mark Hamill and Billy Dee Williams and Anthony Daniels, but Frank Oz didn't want to play Yoda merely on the radio. Okay. I was rehearsing a play with John Madden at the time. John Madden, the film director, back then was a big time uh, radio director, but he was directing me in a play. And he shared the fact that he just couldn't find anyone who, and, and I said, oh, impatient is he? <laughs> <laughs> he hired me on the spot. It was, like, it was the quickest job I ever got. So I and if you, opportunist. If you, care to, if you care to find it, by God, that's me as Yoda. Oh, my God. And a very persuasive. It makes me cry every time I hear it. <laughs> We've talked about acting a lot tonight, but Sir Bob, obviously, you know, acting icon. You must, no, but, <laughs> but, but you know, you must, you must get so many young actors coming up to you, kind of like, oh, do you have any advice? Blah blah blah. So, have you come up with like a kernel <laughs> of advice that you give them just to make them go away? No, I like to give uh, advice when people ask, I, uh, and if it's helpful for them, I, I always uh, am there. You know, what's what's the key thing you tell them? Well, it depends. Each situation is different. It depends on who it is who's asking me. Um, uh, it could be very personal, or it could be something that's a career move, or this or that. But I'm pretty, I think I'm pretty good at that. Okay. Advice. Do you think I could ever get back into acting? <laughs> uh, one, one of the few times I would ever say maybe no. <laughs> uh, in your case. He obviously, <laughs> he obviously didn't see you in Father Ted. Exactly. <laughs> Good. And I suppose the other thing is, obviously, you know, you wanted to be an actor. That was your ambition to yeah. be an actor. You, you didn't set out to be a movie star, but that's, that's happened. So, does a day go by when people don't shout out, you know, lines from movies and things to you? Or does that happen all the time? No, I, get that. I don't get that that often from people. Sh people shout. are afraid to do that to him. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Do you remember that night we were having dinner? We were having dinner. It was Gay Pride Parade. Night. Of course. And we were downtown. <laughs> and so he, 
he had his back to the door and I was, you know, facing him. And all these queens came in, all these drag queens, fabulous, came in. And when they saw me, it was like, woo! And they came around the corner and they saw him and it was like, woo! <laughs> know you had this performance in you? Did you know that, as an actor, you had this... I knew it wasn't asked of me. I knew it was material I hadn't seen before, and I just knew the basics of it when I went to meet Darren. Um, he wasn't certain how he was going to make this movie because it would require the actor to clearly wear extensive prosthetic makeup... Yeah. ...to create Charlie's body, and... And did that help or hinder? Help, absolutely. Yeah. Because um, it was designed with the rules that it would obey gra gravity and physics. And um, it, was, it was appropriately uh, heavy, and uh, that really made the experience of playing the part, I think, really a, a lot closer to what it would be like to live in a, a body of a man that size, for me, personally. Yeah. Because when it came off, I could still feel an undulation. You know when you get the feeling when you step off a boat onto a dock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, kind yeah. of in vertigo? Yeah. I think what that was is just showing me that it, it's still with me. And, and it also let me know that to be a person of that size, you really have to be very strong physically like, physical, just to, and emotionally. Yeah, yeah. And I grew to appreciate that by having played this yeah. part. And uh, you're one of those actors, you've been working constantly, and yet this has been described as your renaissance, <laughs> because people like words like that. Uh, does, does it feel... Right. They have! I didn't make this shit up. Uh, Me neither. <laughs> hey, look, we just work here, OK? <laughs> uh, does it feel like a renaissance to you? Every time I hear that, I want to look at the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, here's Rick O'Connell. Oh, look, there's George of the Jungle. <laughs> Foreshortening. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just... I, you can call me whatever you want, just as long as you're calling me. OK. Yeah. And now... Well, it's lovely to see you. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's surprising to see you. <laughs> what do I call... See, if you were British, you'd be, like, Sir Robert De Niro by now. You can call me Bob. Really? <laughs> Bob. That's it. Lord Bob. <laughs> Call me Sir Robert if you yeah, want. Yeah, I'll call to. you Sir. I, I, Sir Robert seems better. I think you should I be. I like that. You should be Sir Robert. Can I call you Sir Robert? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the campaign starts now. Yeah. <laughs> Queen watches this. And uh, <laughs> I really hope not. Uh, <laughs> did you speak to him out the back, Jennifer? I did very briefly. What did you say? I said hello. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite brief. Yes, it was quite brief. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, can I just... Uh, a man of surprises. A man of surprises. I w did not see you drinking that drink. Well, I... Now is not a, the, the time. <laughs> After. Oh, were you not drinking it? Yeah, I was Oh, I see. It. But you asked for it, is my point. No, they asked for it. I didn't ask for it. I didn't expect it. <laughs> Do you what want something it? else? No, what I'm good. It? That's great. What is it? It's a cucumber martini, Hendrix. Oh. Did you expect it to look like that? No. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't look like a cucumber martini to me. <laughs> that just looks like a gin and tonic with some cucumber in you're, it. You're probably right. Yeah. So, sorry.